Weak Democrats show they're useless after Biden signs debt ceiling bill. Let's get into it. It's official. Joe Biden signed the debt ceiling bill into law. And the weak Democrats, including Joe Biden, are celebrating it as if it's some kind of achievement. For those who don't know how terrible this law is, I'll briefly sum it up. One, the law caps non-defense spending like public education and transportation, but it doesn't cap spending for war in the U.S. empire. As a matter of fact, the law not only doesn't cut funding for the war and for war and the U.S. empire, it actually increases it by eighty billion eight zero billion dollars to a total of eight hundred and eighty six billion eight. Eight six billion dollars in total. Two, the law that Biden signed wastes billions on veterans and veteran medical care, which is something I do not support. Additionally, the three. Additionally, the poor suffer under this law. How do the poor suffer under this law? People aged fifty to fifty-five who are childless are now thrown into the pot with 18 to 49 year olds whereby they're forced to work at least 20 hours and they have to meet other requirements even before receiving help from the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program also known as SNAP, S-N-A-P. Side note, the fact that people aged 18 to 49 have these restrictions in the first place shows how backwards and soulless America is. And finally, the law restarts student loan repayments, which the Biden administration has been putting off. So unfortunately now, people who have student loans have to repay them at the end of the summer. So to sum up how terrible this law is, war spending is increased, it wastes billions on veterans and veteran medical care. People are pushed off of SNAP slash the food stamp program. And finally, there's a restart on student loan repayment. So there's a problem here. The problem is that America's political system is broken, where you have one really strong extremist right-wing political party, which we call the Republican Party, and you have one really weak, submissive, and docile right-wing political party, which we call the Democratic Party. And the latter, the Democratic Party, has been willing to give the former, the Republican Party, everything they want. There is no strong political party that protects the tens of millions of people in the U.S. who are weak, impoverished, and vulnerable. There is no strong political party in the U.S. who refuses to fund the War Department and the U.S. Empire. There is no strong political party in the U.S. who can help ameliorate the broken political system in backwards America. But that's what I have to say about this uh, bill being turned into law, the debt ceiling bill, which is now law. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Leave a comment. Hit the like. It helps grow this community. Um, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, this channel is thankfully growing, and that's thanks to you guys since the last video, which I appreciate, and which is good because this community is your guys' community, um, and we get to have conversations and uh, dialogue that other channels don't have. Peace.